Um, this is a game about squirrels catching nuts. And you said this one is actually a reprint. Yeah, so Nut had already been uh, put out as a like promotional extra pack in maybe Wave 1 or 2. I don't know. Ah. So it existed already. The artwork is new here. The artwork from the original one was, was different, but it's the same game. Well, let's take a look. Starting with the Forager, i.e. the first player for this round, they are going to select one of these three options. This is for two players. If we were playing with three players, then each of these would have another card placed underneath here, randomly from the deck. And so they will take one of these combinations and they will place that in front of them. You can place these cards however you want to, as long as they're touching something. You can put Bark up against Bark like so, and you could put Sky up against Sky like this. You'll eventually be forming, likely, multiple trees. You can also cover various things if you want to. Uh, like that, you could cover as many of the pieces on a card or cards you've previously placed as you want to. When so, you take a squirrel, it has to be right side up, by the way, so this would be that player's area, and perhaps they'll play like this. Having a squirrel in the area that scores for you is good, because you'll score it for double its worth. With that done, this moves to the other player. They replenish our options out here. They are going to do this like so, and then they'll pick a new combination. Maybe they'll take these two, and they are going to put these out uh, like this. They'll do that, yellow on yellow, that's good. And then the squirrel has to be right side up, like I said, so maybe they'll do that. So that is what you are doing, creating clusters. At the end of the game, you are going to score the largest cluster of each of the colors. And if there is a squirrel in there, then you score that one double. Whoever has the highest score is the winner of the game. Nuts an odd one in that it plays two to three, but I don't know that I would ever play with three. Because okay. I think there's so few cards, you kind of want to build your trees up. Sure. You want to know some things going in that there only is, I think, one uh, squirrel of each color. Yes. Um, it, I think it's unique in that the cards go different directions, and you're putting trees next to each other. Visually, that's cool. Yeah, the tree on tree or sky on sky, that's cool. Um, I'll tell you what I love about this game is that is, it's actually simple. The simplicity here yes. matches the size of this game. You're still building groups, and you score the largest group of each color. If it has a squirrel in there, times two. Great, clean. I love it. But the whole thing is this simple, straightforward drafting thing that isn't overwrought. That's what it was. You can hide, you can play cards on top of cards and hide uh, an empty space or one of the acorns you don't want, but the whole thing is easy to actually teach. Yeah. It doesn't feel like they, they tried to cram too much in here. Some of the other ones do that sometimes. Yeah, for me, this is a fun one. This one's getting a seven. Um, I like it. It's a keeper for me. I think it's also pretty good. Seven for me, although I would argue I, I, I would not give it, I think that's for three. Yeah. Just because there's too few cards. But the back and forth of the two player is really nice. It's essentially drafting. Yeah. But it's a fun kind of drafting. Yeah, I agree. There you go.